time is running out. We know that, and you know that. This is why we're committed to a green shift in the Arctic, to provide reliable, affordable, sustainable and inclusive energy. Despite the time pressures to act, we need to consider the most ethical and sustainable way to move forward in the Arctic. And how do we ensure that we leave no one behind? Energy transitions come with risk. We want the autonomy to make informed decisions. As we know, energy development is not one size fits all, and there are many intersecting considerations. Do we have the resources we need for this transition? And who bears the burden for providing them? Indigenous communities are often accused of not in my backyard mentality. But this is a Western interpretation which fuels green colonialism. What could be the cumulative impacts and unintended consequences of our decisions now? What level of risk can be justified? We need to meaningfully consider self-determination, cultural identity, economic sovereignty and environmental protection for Indigenous communities. Who we'll get to decide what the Arctic energy transition is? And how do we ensure that our collective strategic direction is the right one? And how can we make the right decisions without information that can be accessed, understood and utilised by all? We believe that braiding Western science with traditional ecological and indigenous knowledge is the path forward for the Arctic. In these complex systems, the more we know, the harder it gets. While acting with the speed and urgency that this crisis demands, we must consider these risks and address them to realise the optimal green shift in the Arctic. Moving towards mixed solutions, how do we ensure a just transition?